How you doing, Sean? I'm doing well. Well, I mean, not exactly well. I mean, I'm sitting out here panhandling, but as well as they can be out here. You homeless? Uh, yes, I am. Have been now for almost five years. Are you mostly in New York? Yes, yes, it's all been in New York. So where do you where do you stay at night? Ah, uh, different places. Um. A lot of times I'll stay on the train actually, uh, like on the E train because it, you don't get kicked off, it just goes back and forth and you can ride you know, all night long. It's got AC and in the summertime it's got heat in the winter time. Uh, a lot of times I'll sleep just outside in you know, random places. Um, just uh, you know, wherever looks good for the night and then out of the rain hopefully or, or days like this sometimes I'll sit and I try to get enough together to get a room for the night. Uh, they give, I got a place that gives rooms for $55, and I already put together some money for the day, so I'm trying to put together the rest now to get a room for the night, because it's Saturday, I figure at least once a week, at least twice a week, I try to get a room to take a shower, get clean, you know, you can clean up the best you can in the sink and bird bath, but it's not the same thing as taking a shower, so I try to get a room at least twice a week to be able to do that. So the sign says you were a Navy veteran. Uh, yes, I am. I joined the Navy in 99, um, right out of high school. Uh, served four years. Um, actually, really great. <laughs> Probably one of the best things I did in my life. And then uh, wound up uh, getting out and trying to best way put like I just I got hurt when I, I got hurt, that's why I got out. And uh, so when I first got out, I became a bartender. And uh, I was working at a bar, everything was like, pretty good. I, I moved down to Florida, I was working on Fort Myers Beach, um, working at a bar at night, restaurant during the day, making good money, things were great. Uh, I was on heavy pain medications though. And after about two or three years of this, I started to abuse them a little bit. Then after another year of that, I started doctor shopping to get more doctors to give me more pills. And I got caught doing that. So then not only did I lose all the medications I was getting from the VA, I lost the medications from all the other doctors, couldn't get any more. Uh, which put me in a predicament, you know, basically losing everything. And then from that, uh, started, I wound up losing everything got really low, started messing with drugs, started doing a little stealing, and then went to prison, uh, which is what cost me, like, basically to lose everything. Now that I got out, I've been out now for a year and a half, but I got out with nothing, no family, no nothing, so I walked out with the clothes on my back, and I haven't been able to pick myself up since. I've been, like, literally stuck, can't get ahead nowhere because... Have you tried a, no job, no job? Well, I, I can walk in anywhere and get a job, but the problem is, they say you hire me today. Well, how do I show up and work clean tomorrow? You know, how do I get clean tonight? How do I get clean clothes? How do I, you know, do all these things long enough to get enough money in to be able to get them things? You know, no one thinks about that. They're like, oh, get a job. Like, my, most of my reply when someone walks by, get a job, I'm like, you hired? Like, you offer me a job? Like, but, like, but seriously, it's, you know, how, I can say someone says, all right, you're hired. Okay, well, you're not going to want me to show up to work dirty and smelly. But I can't fix that without money. And I can't get money without work. It's like it's a cash 22. You're stuck in a predicament. Have you tried uh, any social services? Well, I get um, food stamps. Uh, get 150 bucks a month about. About it. And like... So it might sound good if you have an apartment where you can eat cheaply at a grocery store, but when you live out here, you got to buy each meal as it is. That lasts about 15 days. If that, sometimes. Oh, it's hot out here, too. Yeah, well, no, today was really nice. Like, yesterday and the day before was blistering heat. This is actually beautiful right now. I wasn't minding to see that. Earlier I had my book out, was sitting there reading, just, you know. Uh, right now, uh, I'm really big into Star Wars novels, like really big. It, it's hard. To, I have to wait for new ones to come out now to get ones I haven't read because I've read everything they've made. <laughs> so like, I'm waiting for new ones. To, and one, one of the ones I'm reading now, I just came out. So. You know who? Uh, you know who the president is right now? Yeah, Trump. Of course. Just testing it. So, uh, 
So do you have any plans, any plans to get off the street? Or well, absolutely. Actually, well, actually, the, the funny thing is, today I was actually supposed to be off. Um, through my counselor, at, I'm in a methadone program to get clean. Um, my counselor to work with me trying to get off the streets. Well, I got set up with this place called Arms Acres. It's a uh, inpatient uh, program. They were supposed to pick me up today at nine o'clock. I was ready waiting at the program. 9.15 rolls around, no driver, 9.30, no driver, and finally I go to my counselor, like, what's the problem? So we start calling, come to find out that the driver rear-ended somebody on a VQA. So he's stuck in an accident, asked if he can pick me up on Monday. That the beds, don't worry, it's guaranteed, it's in my name, it's there, it's my spot no matter what. They just wait till Monday. I'm like, all right, that works. So we have so, on Monday. So, and from there, that should give me, you know, a way to be able to opinion myself to something else. Because while I'm there, I could get on a waiting list to get into another longer term place. And then from there to something else and like try to piggyback each thing to get myself back to a normal life. So five years, five years of... Uh... Yeah. It's been... Uh... And what's weird is it don't feel like, it doesn't feel like, it feels like it's been like that, but it, you know, it's, it's rough. You get, the the problem is you get used to it. And that's the hard part. Like, that's sad, like, you get used to things. And it, it's amazing, like, things that I don't think about our second nature anymore, just picking up a cigarette butt off the ground or, or anything, like, the common sleeping on cardboard, laying on the ground, anything, things you wouldn't do before, I don't think twice about now. Hey, thank you, brother. Yes, they do. Uh, all I can say is anybody can wind up here. I mean, a lot of people are out here because they're own decisions and they're out here. And while they're out here, a lot of people, they're like, oh, well, they're getting high, they're drunk, they're this, they're that. Try being out here and see if you don't want to get high and get drunk. Like, like I mean, realistically, because it sucks so bad out here, anything to take that 15-minute break from your reality, you're going to choose it. I mean, it's that bad. What about the VA? The VA, does the VA offer you any help? They do. The problem is it takes forever. The waiting list, the one, are forever. Like, I'm on the housing list, right? It takes 18 months to get an apartment. Problem is, every time I go to jail, or I go to the hospital, anything like this, you go to the back of the list. And I ain't been able to put down together 18 months straight without getting in trouble or anything like this because I'm living on the street. You got to do things to get yourself in trouble. Thank you very much. For your no time. problem.